Today, on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Josephine Abimbola Akinriola, is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. Previously, on the Justice Court... I met Ayola during my service here as a youth copper. When was that? That was in 2005. Because I'm an SS patient, I, I usually get very... Uh, I'm always very careful before going into any relationship. So at that time I was just, I was going to 26 years. So then later I gave in to his request. We met quite all right and I liked her. Is that one thing with me. If, if I like someone, I talk to the person, it's a free word. I, I spoke to her and she, she said, okay, that was it. Yes, I went to uni like. I was in the union. The union is in uh, uh, Red Drum. I'm sure a lot of people know him. I was in his cabinet. And we do unionism. I can mention all their names, if I guess all of them. We were there together. They, we were prosecuted. Union like 47, it was in the newspapers. Femi Fadano was our lawyer. No court issue. I'm aware of that issue. Move ahead. Thank you, ma. Thank you, Your Honor. So after that, instead of waiting and let's leave to, I went to UI. Sometimes when I was in my third level, I witnessed something in the night because me, I like to go out and drink. I was coming back uh, to, my, to my lodge because I don't stay in the room. I was, I was passing with the, those young, young guys then. So I have my own personal BQ. I was coming, I saw something. A girl was being raped and she was, being, she was molested and she was killed. I saw everything in the, in the daytime. I went to Songo police station. Elijah Hazam Muhammad was the DPO then. I went to, that was my biggest mistake in life. That ruined everything for me, to ruin me. I told him, and they got them arrested. One of those guys, the father was a minister. One thing led to, other, to the other, some police gave them my information. That was why I left there for my life. I was not pursued, I was not respected. That was how you I ended. So now I was at home, doing nothing. That was a period I met her, because all these things I told her. That was the period I met her. And, but I did not go into details with her. But of course, because she was to mind me, she said, God, that one is. So those are the two instances. Eventually, I finished at UNN. No encouragement. The person that hates you and come out in the morning and start course, why would the person encourage you? But anyway, you know, I have this, this lock. When I went there, truly, because then I, I just left you. I, I had nothing, and I had to put something together to get back on my feet. So I, I, I applied for that, for that job. And when I applied for the job, they, they gave me a, a, a protocol of a position. Because one, there was this guy, I didn't know then when I was doing the interview, there was this guy that knows uh, Mayegun and knew me when I was in uni. Like, and he was telling the senior manager I had been that, this guy, this guy is, is, is brilliant. What is he doing? He's a driver. I don't know. He told him a little about me. So the admin man took me aside and finished with the, the rest. Then they now put me in the protocol. So I, from there, I went to head protocol straight. So I didn't to, know why. You went to where? I went to head protocol, okay. the protocol unit. Okay. So I didn't know what happened was until later when I got to know this was what happened. So then um, I remember they gave me, because I was attacked with, with, during, uh, there was a time we went to pick uh, Madame at the airport around 2 a.m. And I was attacked when I was going because I had no vehicle, nothing. So when I got to my area, they, they, I was stuck in the armpit. And it was beginning to smell. So there was a time when I was trying to treat it, but I didn't have enough money. And the MD was like, what is smell? What's that nasty smell? And they said it was me. She asked me what happened. I told them, he said, okay, going forward, give him a place at Bodylon Drive. Give him a car to drive. You know, she made everything easy for me. And I mean, that was the beginning of, of the good time. So I was now mixing... I was a, a low-level class staff mixing with the high-level class one because they were all staying in that guest house, all my guys, AGM, GM, and so on and so forth. So she likes to come down there. And when she, she, she comes down, I, I like to show her off. I mean, she's a, she's a she not banking official, and then I, I'm, I'm dating her. So I like to feel like, I like to feel, be, this is the only way I, can, I could feel be, belong among them. That okay, fine. But I noticed she was like, she was even worse than I was. Because she was like, ah, what is your problem? Why are you feeling so? 
stand up. You can speak very well. You look nice. What's your... When I noticed this wasn't working well, I, me, I'm outspoken. I'm not a violent person. I, have, I will say it. But this is a national TV broadcasting. Whatever. I will say it. If there's a lady in this world that I have ever raised my hand on, she should come out, sue me, and put me in jail. I can say proudly, I have never raised my hand against a lady before in my life. Even my kids, my, my daughters, I don't raise my hand to beat them. I can beat my chest on that. So that's that. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm proud of that. So when I felt like, I mean, you're even bringing me down. I called, I, I was driving out, of course, I had a nice car. And made sure of that. So I, I, was, I was going, I said, look, I don't like the way you... Do, I said, I say maybe we need to give ourselves some space. She said, why? I said, because I, the way you behave. That was before you had Jadis Sola. Before we had Jadis Sola, she wasn't pregnant then. But I made a mistake. That is why it's not good to tell ladies some secrets. I told her one thing about, about us in my household. When a lady gets pregnant for us, even if she's handicapped, even if she's blind, you marry her. That is my, my father's stand. I have said that long ago. I told her that when we were just starting. Maybe it was because I was in love then. I shouldn't have said that. So when we're going, I told her, maybe we need to give ourselves some space. This is strictly not going to work. Honestly, I told her that. We were going, we were on Todd Milan Bridge. He said, what happened? I explained to her. You're always looking to me. Why, what, what's scaring you when you're with people? These people are not bigger than you. If I can stand there and look them in the face, what's your own? You know? So I dropped her at her auntie's place at Fasta. And I came back. And that was that. I go back and said, look, I'm over with that. For about, for some months, she didn't call. I was very happy. I moved on with my life. So, obviously, maybe she had discussed that with one of her friends. This is where the problem starts from. And she thought she was smart. She came back one, one night. One night. And she wanted to jump the fence, the fence of the guest house. We had a security guard then called Martins. Martins. It was our security she was beaten by the rain for close to three hours after I told Martins, don't open the gate for her. <laughs> she is a sex freak. And I will tell you, I will, I will prove it to you now. At the end of the day, Martins came back to me and told me, okay, let her come now. It was that night that she got pregnant. Then she left again for another... That was the night with his virgin. That was, yes. The night with his virgin. Then. No, that was not the... She has, I, 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 you, you, are you the one that is virgin? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I acknowledge that. Okay. All right. So she left. You know why I asked that? Mm. I'm just wondering where that allegation of sex free came up. It will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will bring, I will bring you it. You will see it. You will see it. You, don't worry. No problem. I will, I will be brief. I told you I will be brief. I will not take so long. But... You would see where it comes from. So, Martins came to me, and that was, she left for about a month or so, maybe two months. Then she called. Immediately she called me. Immediately I saw her call, I, was, I wasn't happy. I did, because I didn't want to hear from her. I thought she had left. So I told, the first thing I told her was, look, I'm already engaged. I'm getting married to someone else. Then the next thing that came back from my mom was like, I'm pregnant. And that was where my problem started from. She called. After that. She was actually pregnant. She was actually pregnant. She was, she was ovulating, probably, because I don't know, when she came that night. And that was what she came to do, and she left. Thinking, she be if somebody to get pregnant in your, your house, that person cannot go, you must marry that person. So anyway, I started. I now went to... I'm a bit confused there. Because before then, the two of you already met. We have met. We have been meeting for a long time. That was why I told so, you. So... Repetition came in later, right? You repeated it. Yes. Again later. Once. And that once turned into pregnancy. What has not turned into pregnancy for... Oh, nobody. Yeah. Is it by our own making? No, I'm, I'm not saying okay. it's by our own making. Right. I'm just saying okay. that all of a sudden, that particular once turned into... And I don't okay. mind. Okay. So I made another stupid mistake. Because I was... I mean... I had a pure heart. I, I see no reason why... I should. So I went to her parents when she was pregnant. Contrary to what she said that I was denying, because I was looking at when she later said, okay, I did not deny. I actually went to her parents, and that was another mistake. That, as a matter of fact, that was my biggest mistake. And told them that, okay, I'm responsible for this pregnancy. How is that a mistake? 
Uh, you you will get you will get to find out. But that's your child, right? Yes, it's my child. It wasn't. It, it, it was a mistake you, in acknowledging that child is now. yours. You will say the mistake. Okay. I said this child she's carrying. I'm responsible for it too. But since I don't love her anymore, I'm not going to marry her. Mm -hmm. That was the mistake. Where is the mistake? Then? The mistake where I said I'm not going to marry her. I will take care of the child. I will take care of her. But I'm not going to marry her. Okay. So later on, when I told somebody that I was older, because it was a very big problem for me because the mother was like, so you came here to insult me to my face. You said you got my daughter pregnant and you're not going to marry her. Eh, okay, fine. Let's see now. So later on when I was having issues because I, I don't believe anybody here in this courtroom will believe fetish things. When, like, I, like I, I can't tell you that I saw somebody sitting on my head from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. every morning, every, every night. And I see the person's face, and you are telling me I don't know who the person is. <laughs> you know? So, I, 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 I started having issues. So, I went to someone I was older than me. I said, this is what is going on. I said, okay, what did you do to the woman? I said, I didn't do anything now. Fine, I got her daughter pregnant. And I told them that I will be taking care of her. And I've been taking care of the daughter. And when she gets pregnant, I will, when she gives birth, I will take care of the child. And said, so, you got somebody's daughter, if it's you. And they got your daughter pregnant. And they came to tell you your house. That they got your daughter pregnant. I will not marry her. Would you be laughing? That was when I knew I made a mistake. <laughs> but after that, things started uh, happening. For example, <laughs> she said she has been supportive. She took my friend, one of my friends. You know, I said I was a chief protocol officer. And Madame had a lot of influential people coming and going. That was why I met a lot of influential people. And she got hold of my phone, and a lot of these influential people became my influential friends and uh, enemies. Mm. They don't want to hear me call again. That was why I, I said I will let you know why all my brothers uh, uh, blocked her. From, all none of them now. If you go to her Facebook, they have all blocked her. She 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 used that to start sending us. It was on this same account that she sent that she started telling my friends that I have died. She, you know, they were upset. Why would they not call me? Why would they be saying us, oh, this kind of thing? I mean, so I have to go and block that account. Because she was using my account to send these messages. Let's rewind a little bit to her boss that she said she called me. One day the boss called, he called me. And I went to go and meet her. And she said, this is why I can never stay with her in the same room. I have never touched her. But there's no way in this world or the, the next to come that I can stay with her or have anything to do with her. I will tell you what. When, the, when her boss saw me, her boss said, but you don't look like the kind of person. You don't look like a rapist. I said, me. We can call her now and confirm it. Because we stay, we stay talk. We, you know, we stay, we stay convert. I said, me. Why would I do a thing like that? I can snap my finger. And get a girlfriend. Why would I go and rape? Besides, I have, I mean, she says, who, who gave it? Who, 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 where did you come about that? And she said, she told me that she was a virgin. And you, you, you raped her. You, you disvirgin her through rape. I said, me. She was downstairs. You, you, even if you don't call her openly now, I will still give you her number. You will call her and confirm. At least you can confirm. I know whether I'm speaking to her. She now sent someone. She now took her intercom and called her. Say as you sit down. I want to see who is lying. So she called her and she came. When she came, she sat down and she said, repeat what you said. How, what did you say happened to you that this man did to you? She, she was looking. She didn't say anything. She now said, she now said it. That she, you, 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 no, I was the one that said, when did I rape you? You that, you will be jumping over the fence to come and have sex. Somebody will now be raping you. And now, and now, Put, carry, take my phone. I now called Martins. You will confirm Martins, the issue of Martins with her. Because I told her, I called. I now called Martins. I said, and I put it on speaker. I said, Martins, Alpha. I beg, I want, I get one of my friends there. And they tell that, and they tell her about that, that girl, where they come, they meet me for. That one where they work for band. He said, okay, that Ashi. That was how, that was the first thing he said. Uh -huh. I said, hey, why, why, why you call her Ashi? Ah, I said, oh, God. That one, he liked that. This, where was, we look. this so he was said it. this was before 
you had before the twins before the twins i just oh, want to you already had a child then oh well, we of course we you already had, had a child had, so you already when well, you were married then no we had we have we were not yet married what, well, you already had Jade Sola. You already had Jade Sola. Sola. Okay. So he now told, so immediately Martin said that on the speaker she had it herself. I was now looking at the woman now. So she she did not say anything throughout. She the her boss now said, okay, you can go back. You I will, I will give you the number of her boss so you can confirm directly from her whether it is true. If she wants to be honest, she will confirm it. That was how she left. So when she left, I now told her boss that, okay. Now, it was her mother's issue I was here having. You are going about telling people that I get you and this virgin Jew. You got pregnant and now go and tell your parents. After raping her, she got pregnant and now telling her parents I will not marry her again. If the person has witchcraft, will he not use it against me? Even if it's more than one, and she will tell all her friends. If you can tell her about she will tell everybody. That was when I got pregnant. This woman can actually kill me because I know that it's a lie. Even if it's true. Told them, what you doing for me? Do you know I will marry you? Marry you. you sh spreading that kind of thing will, 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 will destroy me. You can go to the police, fine, police is okay. But do, do you know the kind of person you are telling that kind of information to? And it's a lie. That was when I decided in my mind that I wasn't going to have anything to, to do with her. But I was going to take care of that child. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Now, let me go to the hospital quickly. Let me just be briefly <laughs> go to the hospital. She, We're talking about the twins now. Yes, yes, yes. When the twins got... I, as I'm remembering, I'll just touch it one by one. She and her mom... What was, them, how many years after you had Jadosla, Jadisola? I, I think... I think you can come in. You should know. Mm. The gap. It was three years after Jadisola that he came begging. All right, then. Okay. So we did introduce... So, so, and is that third year that you had... You conceived... Fourth the, year, I gave back to the... You I conceived that, that year. year. Okay. All right. You know, you know she, he, 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 she confides. She confides to me. She tell me some things at times. And I told you that time that I will prove to you that she's a sex freak. I will tell you now. There are, there are older men. She, 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 she uh, I pray are older men. Older lonely men. Maybe they have their wives in abroad. There was this particular one she told me at Lekki. They are their clients when she comes. And they said, This man wants to marry me. This man is always troubling me, wants to marry me, and so on and so forth. Before you know it, she has gone to the man's house. Mm -hmm. There was this lecturer at Lasso. This was the particular one that made me know that maybe investigated those children. Her name is, his name is Sunday. They, she told me they were having an affair while she was still with me. And that immediately the guy found out that she had a child, she had a solar. The guy left her, and that she was sorry that she has ended it. Mm -hmm. Now, that one, that one, she is telling you now that uh, almost six months, she has a child, it's not even up, maybe around five months. That was when she had it. And the child, this Sunday, is twin. Those children are twin. First. Secondly, whenever they are going to that hospital, please, you can always find this one out. It is very easy to find, find out. You could send somebody there to find out. Whenever I go to the hospital, I will drive her. Because she cannot drive. Her mother cannot drive. I will drive her with her car that she left at her parents' house. When, after, when we went to our own home, she left. The, she told me that eh, the, the, car, the car should stay there with them. We can always get her own. I don't mind. I am not a lazy man. I can always get mine. She left the car there and gave them. They also took Jadis Sola and said, this is their inheritance. We should go and have another one. Her father is here. I will ask him. He's a minister. If he can tell the truth. I will drive her. I will go to her house at Okoko. Take the key, drive her and her mom to military hospital. Please, you can find this one out if I'm lying. She, they will now tell me, Mumu like I am, to go and sit somewhere and be eating meat pie, which I will buy with my own money anyway. I will be eating the meat pie. They will climb up to go and meet doctor. You can find this one out. So one day, I was thinking to myself, maybe that was the day the thing just... Move a little bit from my. I was like, ah, you, oh boy, you are very stupid, though. <laughs> so you come to the hospital, you sit down here eating meat pie. They have, and your so called wife has gone to, to the doctor to this with her mother. Ah, so I, I just came out, and it was a military hospital. You have to behave yourself a little bit there. <laughs> so I now went to one officer at the, those one doing guard. This, oh, God, please, 
Where is the doctor? He said, he said doctor, there are plenty, many doctors in this place. I said, okay. Where do they have um, the doctor's office? Where, where are they situated? Point upstairs. I think second floor. So, so I went there. When I went there, you can find this one out. When I say something, I say, you can make inquiries. It's very easy. So when I got there, I saw her sitting. My mother sitting like this. She was sitting like the doctor was there. I was like, so I went there. Said we have, like I said, it's, it's a military hospital. One needs to, the way you behave when you're in, in, in the general hospital is the way, it's not the way you behave in the military hospital. So I got there. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Say, yeah. Say, yes, can I help you? I said, yes, you can actually. Uh, because they have already given them a date for the uh, operation then. So I was like, um, <clears throat> sir, but this woman is my wife now. He said, which woman? Yeah. So I was like, how can you give her a date without me being there? I mean, who signed for her? And it was like, my friend, I don't know what you are talking about. They told me that her husband is not in the country. You can find out. Yes. She said, her husband, her husband is not in the country. Who said that? I look at her and her mother, the two the chronic liars. I looked at both of them, and they were looking at themselves shame, shamelessly or shamefully. I, I shook my head. And the man, too, was embarrassed. said, I am... A legal husband. So the man said, well, I, I don't know what is going on. Maybe you people should go and settle yourself for. That was when I knew the date that he was going to do the operation. It was then, that day, they hide it from me. They hid it from me. Mm -hmm. So later on, later on, they now, she's telling everybody here that I, I have scorned, I do this. I do. They went back. When she, the day she, 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 she delivered, you can also find this one out. God is my witness. I was not there because I was not told. They didn't tell me. It was after she has delivered. <coughs> I don't Excuse know if you me. Ask question. So they didn't, they didn't conduct the operation. They, they on changed the dates. Date. Okay. They changed the date because I already knew that I was going. I was coming to steal the child. Now, of course, she knew that I'm not the father. When they, when I was at the hospital, when I met the doctor the second time, they went there. After they have had the child, after three days of having the child, they now called me that your wife has given birth. I went there. I. I was the one that paid the bill. And when I was paying the bill, I was upset. I decided to do something. Because the first time she said she gave back to Jade Sola, they charged me 150000 I was now like, ah, I know private hospital in Little. I follow my friends around now. Even private don't charge 150 as of 2009. General, now charge. I will look into it. I didn't say anything that time. I, I paid 128 that time through my nose, and they collected this. But when I now asked them, for the receipt, okay, give me the receipt for the one and one and twenty like this. They now started giving me the receipt. Receipt of when she was, all the times she was going to Antinata. This is not the receipt I asked for. Give me the receipt of one hundred and twenty thousand. That was why I decided to investigate the second one. The defendant, Ayola Akiriola, denied some of the allegations levied by his wife. He claims that his wife inflated hospital bills for charge delivery and extorted him through those payments. Ayola alleges that his wife's moving from hospital after the birth of the twins back to her parents' house without his consent is an insult to his person. He also disputes the paternity of the twins. I paid for the bill for the twins. So I now went to a nurse. I said, please, madam, if a lady if you give birth here, what is the normal charge? She said it's 20,000, but if it's serious, it's, it's 25. Say, but because. Incubator. Mm -mm. We have not, we have not added. Okay. We are talking about actual just um, delivery. Delivery. Okay, that's and, yes. Yes, and this particular day, the money I gave to them at once, she's here, was one twenty cash. Now I want to ask you a question. Yes. Because in this clarification, and if that day you were paying, were you told that that's just for the cesarean, or includes the period that the Children were in the incubator up till the point in time when you were making payments. They told payment. me it was just for the delivery. It That's was the, the, the amount you told me, the 20,000 naira. Was, it was, no, I'm talking was, about the total sum that you paid. I gave, because, you see, when I got there, they told me this time, but I think what they told me was about 200,000 naira, whatever, I don't know that. Okay. But I gave them cash, cash. Only the, for the delivery only? Yes. Out of everything? Yes, I okay. gave them one point. So you paid out of the bill? 
No, 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 no. I paid the full bill. The, the mm -hmm. delivery, delivery alone. Calm down, calm down, mm -hmm. calm down. Mm -hmm. And listen. So you, I gave it to you. Your mother, your mother was Somebody sitting with dying. you. I was dying. I was dying. I was coming back to that. Just a minute. Okay. I... Let, let me get clarification okay. on this, right? When you got there, you were ready to make payments. Yes, I was ready to make payments. But I, I was not going to make the payment. I want to clarify. I was not going to make payment. I already given them the cash. I gave them a cash of 120000 I gave it to her. Okay. I gave it to her. Okay. When I gave it to her... That's I, three days after? Yes. You put to, so it's not the day you put to bed no. it's referring to? No. So, so three days went, after, you claim that you gave her the money. Yes. Who told you the total sum to be paid? She, she told me. She ah, told you. She told me, I, I don't know, whether 200 <laughs> or white or something. When did she inform you of that? Yeah, I went When to you got there? Yes. She told you, so you went yes. to withdraw cash? No, I came with cash. Okay, so I you just took immediately, some Immediately, immediately I was called and told that she, she, had, put did, to bed. she had put to bed. I called a friend of mine, I didn't have cash. Okay. I called a friend of mine, his wife. Okay. And he sent me some money. Okay, so you just took the cash down? Yes. Because you knew you were going to make payments yes. when you get there. So when you got there, you asked her how much? I asked her, yes. So, but when you got to the point where you were going to make payment, you asked again. No, 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 no. You just made the payment? No, 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 no. no. I gave her the money. Okay, so it's not you that made the payment. No, I right gave her, after, after I giving her the money, she was now telling me that this is not everything. That, I'm, that the delivery is not yet complete. And that they are still going to pay for this. They are still going to pay for that. So I, I became upset. And I remember the last time that they scammed me, she and her mother. So I decided to investigate. <laughs> if she had collected the money and had not told me that, oh, uh, we will start to make payment for this and that, I probably would have just kept quiet. But she told me there are still some things they were going to make payment for. And this time around, I wanted to be sure. So I gave her the money. She didn't know I was going to investigate, so I went. Unfortunately, the nurses there, the, the, because I embarrassed her and her mother, she said she, she was recovering, she was dying. She wasn't dying because she insulted me that day. Somebody that is dying, that is still shouting and insulting somebody. Mm -hmm. So I went, I went and inquired. I made inquiry outside at the reception where those nurses were. Then I came back where she was. And I told her, well, you told me so, so I'm out. The time of that, this was what she said. Was, so she said, I'm shouting on her mother, that I'm, I'm talking down on her mother. I said, if your mother could be stealing, I should be able to talk down on her now. I mean, so that was what happened then. So I gave them the cash, like I always do, and they collect. See, most of the time now, normally I'm supposed to come out here now and say, this is my statement. And then we check most of it. Most of, and, and that was why she told you know, she first said, perfect liar, that... I don't give I don't give anything. I only give two thousand, three thousand. But I now reminded her, I say, go to court. We want, I want to print my statement from two thousand and nine. You have it here. I don't I didn't bring it. I, 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 I all these things I will get. It's not yet time for me to get it. I will get because I still believe I, it's a win win situation for me anyway. You know what? You see, courts operate with evidence. I know. I, I, mean, I have some I have some. I have so some. It's not just about what you say. Because the minute you said not now. You know, I eagerly asked you, you have something to put? I have something. I, didn't you I have something, but I, I have not Push it gotten, aside, okay? Not got into this. So that was when she now changed her mind now. Then she now said, that, okay, once in a while he brings that. Before she would tell me, I don't do anything at all. That's what she tells people. But because I reminded her that she knows that that is truly an evidence, she changed her mind. So I, I was, she, from the hospital, I told her, what are the plans? She said that ah, she cannot, that she needs care. That she's uh, SSC, this and that. I said, look. If you need care, come to the house. Whoever is going to take care of you will come and take care of this kids in the house with you. I have never had in my life where somebody will, will, will give birth and from the hospital will move straight to her parents' house. I said, I have never had that. And I said, if you move from this place to your parents' house, I will not come and see you. I don't know. It means you are married to your parents. And I left because, of the, because I was upset about the money. The money is what I found out. That's so why you reacted that way. Yes. So I left. I went home, thinking she would come. Later on, I find out she has left the hospital. She went to her father's house. I didn't see anything. That same day? No, no, not, not that same day. Which day? Not that same day. When I, did she leave the hospital? It, uh, I, uh, think, I think the following week or so. Mm. Following week. Did you check her in between the week? No, I did not. I did not. I did not check her. I did not check her. Because I was waiting for... She, her mother was always there, 24-7. So I was waiting for her to come back home. Now, her mother was always there. And I don't get along well with the mom. But for the sake of the kids, I was willing to make an exception. So I told her, come, bring the children home. I was confident. I have never raised any hand at you. So this one that I said, I, I beat her. 
it's her it, 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 against her own word. So I went, and later on I found out, no, 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 it wasn't the following week. It was the third day she went home. It was the third day she went home. The same nurse, the same nurse that told me that they were paying, they paid 40,000 naira because he said if it's one person, delivery for one person is 20,000. But since they were two, it's supposed to be 50, um, 25,000 per person now. Normal delivery is 20,000. Caesarean is 25,000 per okay. person. But because they were two, they collected 40,000 for the Caesarean for the two. Okay. Not inclusive of the days they will spend there after the operation. Okay. That was when I found out she had left. I didn't see anything. Three months later, three months and some days later, her father called me. I remember very, very well. I'm, I'm sure she, he will not deny that one. He called me himself. And he said, but, um, you surprised me. Oh. I, I, I said, I'm sorry, sir. I don't, what, what happened? What did I do? Ah. He said, all this, all this month, he said, one, one month, two months, three months, your children are here, and you do not even bother to come and check your children. Allow him to, to speak, because he's an elderly man. I don't want to be disrespectful. I said, Daddy, have you finished? Yes. I said, please, if you were not an older man, the way I would have answered you would have been different, because I was really upset. You have a son, and he's married, he has kids. I said, sir, did your son go to his in-law's place to go and visit his children and wife. That was the exact question I asked the man, and he will confirm me. That was his question, and, and, and he, he kept quiet. He said, eh. he said, it was your wife that called me and asked me whether she could bring the children uh, here. To, you know she needs care, proper care, and all those stuff. I said, thank you, sir, for the, for, for the feedback. I said, but for, for me, I said, for me, if my my wife, I'm sorry, my, my child, my daughter, should bring her children after putting to bed to my house. I said, I will say you should wait. Sit down. Sit down with children. I'll pick up my phone. I will call her husband. My friend, your wife is coming to my house. What is she coming to do in my house? Ah, she's coming to look for care. Then you should have told me. This is not a daycare. That was what I was telling the, 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 the man, her father. That's exactly what I told him. I said, even if my wife is bringing my children to you, you should have at least... Ah, Oh, oh my my friend, what is going on now? I'm the one that will beg you that dear job. I just come on, why let this lady come with the children? They need care. I'm the one that should beg you. He said, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you, you have a point there. But what do we do about it? I said, you don't do anything, please, sir. Don't call my line again. She, yes, I told him that with all due respect. I added that one. with all due respect. I don't call my line. Again. This is an insult on my person. I didn't ask her to come there. I asked her to come to the house. Anybody that wants to come, come and say, I demand God to come. And that was that. The wife didn't say anything. This matter is unfolding as Judge Fumi continues the cross examination in the next episode. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.